morning, Eagles. I'm Chelsea Pierce. And I'm Matt Tanner. And today is Thursday, March 10th, 2011. And we're here at the Florida Aquarium near Channel Side in Tampa. However, you won't see anything naval here. The Florida Aquarium has 152,000 square feet of air-conditioned fun underneath an impressive 1,100 paneled shell-shaped dome. It has a variety of galleries, including wetlands, beaches and bays, coral reefs, explore shore, and sea hunt. It also has a variety of special programs, including swimming with the fish, diving with the sharks, and even a Dolphin Quest eco tour. And because of all the amazing attractions here at the aquarium, we have a great show for you today featuring Mr. Baker and his two new family members, and a look at some monochromatic characters that live here. But before we get started, let's take a glimpse back at this day in history. On this day in history in 1864, President Abraham Lincoln signed a document officially promoting Major General Ulysses S. Grant as the Lieutenant General of the U.S. Army. In 1906, a mine explosion occurred by an underground fire and killed 1,000 workers in France. In 1997, the Warner Brothers Television Network aired their first episode ever. The episode was a great start to the hit series, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I'm Lucy Muller, reporting for ENN. Thanks, Lucy, and stay tuned each week for another look at this day in history. Eagles, you still have the chance to get a replacement ID for $5 and a new one for free. IDs are being taken every day in room 4226 during 4th and 5th periods. Make sure you're carrying your IDs daily. Another thing you should be doing daily is preparing for the SAT. If you're in need of any great ways to prepare for the test, visit INeedAPencil.com or Number2.com. The next administration of the exam is on May 7th, and April 8th is the last day for regular registration on collegeboard.com. Adoption, like what they do here with the animals at the aquarium, requires quite a bit of time and effort. One of our GJ teachers, Mr. Baker, adopted two children, and we had the opportunity to talk to him about his new family. The teachers here at GJ do amazing things outside of school, but recently Mr. Baker went above and beyond when he and his family adopted two children from Uganda, a country in Africa. The Baker family welcomed them into their warm home over winter break. Lillian was found as an infant, like a couple days old infant, in a plastic bag um, next to an electrical plant. Um, they found her and took her to the police, and the police took her to the orphanage. And then Caden was found um, just laying a couple days old as well um, next to a golf course outside of the court. Both the kids are adjusting awesome. Um, definitely the English is not there yet. They know a couple words like baby Jesus, chicken, mommy, daddy, <laughs> and where we going. Um, <laughs> that's their new favorite one this week. And tighten up the game. Tighten up the game. Hey. Tell the camera, say tighten up the game. Say tighten up the game. Say tighten up the game. Tighten up the game. Say tighten up the game. Tighten up the game. It's definitely a lot of transition for them. Um, one, we didn't speak the same language, so it was hard to communicate. Like we really, they, they never had parents, so they don't understand what a mom and dad for life is all about. They're still learning to trust us, they're still learning to have eye contact with us, that kind of thing, but they're doing great. It's interesting to see them at a, at a playground, you know, just look at stuff. You know, we're like, go ahead, go ahead, and you know, we automatically assume just because we've been raised with that, our kids have been raised with that, that they know what to do, and they don't. So uh, that's one of the adjustment things. We have a crazy amount of blessing that's coming uh, through these kids and I, like Jen said if we can only if it's only two that you can touch then we feel like we were called to do that and there's that that is gonna make an impact on our lives as well as their lives thank you mr. And mrs. Baker for sharing your incredible story we wish you and your family the best of luck as your new additions get acclimated to living in a whole new world this truly is a special event Speaking of other special events, the prom will be held at Gaylord Palms Resort in Kissimmee on March 26th from 8 p.m. until midnight. Tickets are on sale for $70. Students, remember, you must clear your obligations in order to attend. You can do so in the finance office either during announcements or after school. Underclassmen may attend prom as a guest of a junior or senior. However, if you plan to bring a guest from outside the school, you must get a guest form signed and approved. You can pick up a guest form in the main office, guidance, or the freshman academy office. There's so many amazing animals here at the aquarium, but some of the more popular ones are the penguins. Chelsea, what do you like about the penguins? Well, they're adorable and they walk funny, but did you know that they can't fly? Well, everyone knows that, but I want to know more. Let's go to Ryan Elliott with an exclusive look at the penguin exhibit here at the Florida Aquarium. Here at the Florida Aquarium, where they have tons of fish, who would have ever thought that they happen to have penguins? We had an exclusive look on the penguin habitat. 
We, uh, we have our, our penguin back area here, and it's been here for about five years. And basically what we do is we do shows and interactions throughout the day. We don't have a traditional exhibit like a lot of other zoos and aquariums. We basically bring these guys out to uh, interact with the public, and we bring some people back here for behind the scenes tours. They get to see what it takes to take care of penguins, their feeding, uh, some of their daily care. They get to see what they feel like. These guys are actually very easy to basically keep. Their husbandry or the way that we take care of them is pretty simple compared to most penguins. Where these guys are from in Africa, they don't need to be cold. This uh, climate is really similar to Tampa. So we can keep it just exactly the way they like it with an air conditioner. So they're really easy penguins to have. The best thing that you can do uh, if, with any sort of degree in biology or, or wildlife, um, with that you want to go into volunteering or do an internship or you can even do that while you're in school, uh, even before you're in college. That gives you some great experience and it's a great way to get your foot in the door. Uh, and once you're out, the, the volunteering and interning actually helps build your resume and you can go from there. <laughs> well, working with a penguin seems like a rewarding career. If you're looking for some volunteer opportunities, please go to the website on the screen. I'm Ryan Elliott reporting for ENN. Thanks, Ryan. Eagles, make sure to look into those great volunteer opportunities. We'd like to take this time to thank the Florida Aquarium for letting us wander around and film our show, as well as provide our eagles with the education about the marine life within. If you're planning to visit, the aquarium is open from 9.30 a.m. until 5 p.m. and an adult ticket will cost you $19.95. But remember, you must also pay for parking, which is $6. Remember, spring break is next week and this will be a great day trip. But before you head out, think about staying in and checking out our softball team. The ladies have started off their season strong. The next game is tonight at home against Haynes City. JV starts at 5.30 and Varsity starts at 7. Come out and support your Lady Eagles. Earlier in the show, you might have heard us use a word that you are unfamiliar with, navel. Each week on ENM, we will have a word to improve your vocabulary so you will use less vernacular. This week's word is navel, which means pertaining to ships of all kinds. Stay tuned for a short video to help you remember the word. Well, that's all we have for today, Eagles. We'll see you tomorrow morning bright and early to bring you the latest news for GJHS. Have a thrilling Thursday, Eagles. I'm actually going to Anna Maria to go boating on some naval ships. Boating on naval ships? Oh, you mean belly button ships. <laughs> no, um, naval is pertaining to ships of all kinds. <laughs> it makes so much more sense now.